Hi guys, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today's going to be a little different. I'm going to go through my March favorites, but I'm also going to recap on products that I did use in March uh, to see how my feelings are about them now, because things do change, you know how that goes. Um, so there really isn't any fails. Uh, there was an almost fail. I bet you guys can guess what that is. And if you're new today, the biggest welcome to you. And we really hope you stick around and hit that subscribe button and notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Okay, we're going to start today with skincare, of course, you guys. Um, and I don't have a lot. Um, and a lot of it I was gifted or I received in my boxy charm. So I think basically all that, I didn't purchase any of these, you guys, but I do want to talk about them because I really do enjoy them and I'm super fortunate um, that I was able to obtain these products. Okay, the first one I'm going to talk about, it's by Osea. And this is their Andaria Algae Body Oil. You guys, as you can see how much I love it. Um, I use it every time that I um, take a bath or shower. I think that it applies better that way when you're a little bit uh, damp. If you're dry, it just doesn't, I don't feel, uh, absorb quickly enough. So I enjoy using this, like I said, when I'm damp and my skin is really starting uh, to show a difference because after those winter months you guys I was like a lizard I swear it was absolutely horrible so since then I've been exfoliating um, and then applying this and I absolutely love it it smells like a vacation their products have amazing ingredients in it that's probably why it makes it so expensive because it's not uh, cheap so like I said I was very very fortunate to obtain this bottle but um, if you're looking for a really nice body oil um, and you do, you know, don't mind spending a few dollars. Uh, this is very, very, very nice. I really enjoy that, as you can tell. Okay, so the next products um, I got in my BoxyCharm, you guys. I absolutely love my BoxyCharm uh, that I get once a month. Um, I used to pay for mine uh, for over a year. And then they contacted me, and now I'm an ambassador for um, BoxyCharm. I've been super, super fortunate. Um, my boxes have had amazing products in them. Um, and the two products that I'm super excited about that I got uh, in March's box, and it's the Bliss. They're both by Bliss. Um, you guys, I had never heard about these products in my life. I don't know. I've been living in a box. I guess you can obtain these anywhere. So the one product by them, uh, by Bliss, it's this Drench and Crunch. And this is so amazing, you guys. Um, I absolutely love it. And a little bit goes a long way. Um, hopefully I can get it focused enough for you guys to see. But as you can see, I mean, I'm just going to take that little amount. And as you can see, my hand is a little dry. So I just washed them prior to coming down. And you are going to see how, look at that. It is just so soothing, hydrating. Um, it feels almost like a watery based um, product. It absorbs super, super fast. So I've been loving that. And then I also got um, by Bliss, it's an SPF of 30 and it's a mineral sunscreen, which I really love. It, this seems to always play with my makeup really well. And there is a slight tint to it. Um, so I will show you that as you can see. And I will say that this isn't as moisturizing as my um, e.l.f. one, the Holy Hydration one with uh, SPF of 30 as well. Um, but this one is really going to come in handy in summer because, I, like I said, um, you know, before that I get super oily in the summertime. I mean, through the T-zone and, you know, it, it just, it's different. So as you can see, it does add like a slight tint, um, but not too, you know, overpowering. There's really a slight uh, scent to it. It's not too uh, overpowering, I don't think. Um, it didn't burn my eyes, so I really love this. And then also, I think I got this in my BoxyCharm. I'm almost positive. If not, it was in my Fab Fit and Fun box. Um, and it's by Frank Body, and it's a brightening vitamin C mask. So what I do is, you know, you take quite a bit of product and you put this on your face. You just kind of massage it into your face for like 30 seconds and then you let it sit on um, on your face for five minutes and then you rinse off. And boy, I can really tell my skin is nice and bright after I use this. Now you only use this maybe, you know, one to three times uh, a week, but I really, really love this. So um, and Joe been enjoying that and I did see a nice difference when I used it. Okay, so the last thing with this category, um, I got this as a gift as well. Um, it's by Boldplex and it's a Bond Restore 
treatment for your hair. I did a TikTok on it. I'm super impressed by it. It's supposedly a dupe for the Opalux. It's about the same price, but you get twice the amount of product in this. So it looks like this here. It's just a very creamy formula. Um, and what you do is you put it on your clean, wet hair and you saturate your hair and you can leave it on for a minimum of 10 minutes for it to really work, 30 minutes. I left mine on for two hours and they say you can sleep uh, overnight in it. I probably would never do that, but I thought with my hair, it needed it. So I did uh, two hours and I really saw a difference after I used it. It was so shiny and I did it maybe, I want to say it's been two weeks now. Uh, that I did the treatment, which I need to probably do it again. It just was so shiny. So I've been really enjoying this. You get it on Amazon. And, and that is it, you guys, with the skincare uh, category. And let's go into palettes now. Um, and of course, you guys know that, that I rediscovered this in my um, collection. I absolutely been loving it. It's going to be perfect for spring and summer. Um, for those who haven't seen uh, what I'm talking about, it has a nice large mirror in here. And these are the shades here. It's super fun. Uh, you can go neutral. You can go loud. You know, it is just very, very versatile palette. And it's super pigmented. I love this palette. So, yeah, and you know, there's a black in here, which is unusual with this kind of color scheme, I think. And it's the Morphe Maddie Zingler. Now, the only problem is um, it's really not easily available anymore. Um, but you still can find it. And if you ever do, uh, you, you know, grab it for sure. I think some TJ Maxx and Marshalls even has had this. So uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. And then I went to Ulta the other day and I got this palette and it's called um, Los Angeles. And this is, or Lost in Los Angeles. So it's by BH again, and there's no mirror, but these are the shades here. So it's very similar to the Maddie Zingler one. This shade's pretty cool here. That's actually, uh, this palette is what I have on my eyes right now. I have this, I have this shade uh, in the middle there. I have a little bit of a purple, you guys. It, I just, you know, I've been playing around way too much with these colors. So this is the eye look I came up using this palette. So it's super fun. And I'm probably going to be using this a lot in the summer as well. So very nice. Unfortunately, uh, this probably won't be available anymore either. But they do say that these are going to be at Marshalls and TJ Maxx as well. So keep your eye out for any BH palettes because they are amazing. They seriously make the best eyeshadow palettes. Okay, and the last palette I'm going to talk about, you guys, you know this was coming. It's by uh, Patrick Star One Size. I've reached for this so many times in March. It was such a, it, it is such a beautiful palette. It has a beautiful mirror in here that's very large. And I just love the, you know, the color story. These are my vibe. You guys know that I'm a neutral, ga neutral gal, uh, usually, <laughs> except for lately. Super pigmented. Uh, they blend like a dream. I love the shimmers in here. They are absolutely gorgeous. This one here really knocked my socks off. I'll even just do a swatch because it is just so beautiful. I absolutely love that. It's going to be a, a shade I go to a lot in the summer, but this one's beautiful. I mean, they all are, you guys. This is a great palette. I'm so glad I got it on sale for $21. So that was a deal and a steal. Okay, so let's start with primers. There's uh, only two here, you guys. Uh, the one that I got in my BoxyCharm, I was so excited. I didn't even see it coming. It was the Rare Beauty. This is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it gives such a glow. It does smooth down my pores. Um, that's actually what I have on under my makeup today. I love this. It's very similar to a lot of the uh, primers that I've been using, like the Maybelline Forum 1, um, the Charlotte Tilbury. So this is just very similar. It just fits in that category, but my makeup lasts really well when I use this. It does soften my pores. It gives a beautiful glow. Absolutely love this. I will for sure purchase this one when uh, I go through it because it is so worth it. I absolutely love it. Okay, and the other one was a rediscovery. Um, I've had it for a while. I used it for a while, and then I stopped using it for some reason. Um, but it's by Makeup Revolution. It's that glass skin primer. Boy, is this a lifesaver on so many of my foundations that I almost decluttered um, because my skin, you know, has become super dry. And I don't know, hopefully it's going to change a little bit in the summer, but 
uh, during this winter. It was really dry, you guys. And again, you um, if you guys seen my Patrick Star video, uh, the one size, you know that this saved the day. And it has on a couple more, and I'll, I'll mention the other one that's in my basket. So I absolutely love it. And, you know, I like mixing it in my foundation. If I just put it on as a primer, I don't enjoy it as much. It just seems like my foundation won't adhere to it. It's the weirdest thing, but if I mix it in with my foundation, it's a great, beautiful product. It will bring a glow out of a matte foundation like that. <laughs> Love this. Okay, so I'm going to go to concealers first, and I mentioned this one in the February, but it kind of goes with the theme today of the pro other products that I'm going to be mentioning. So I just want to give another shout out to it because it's a beautiful concealer. And that's what I have under my eyes today. I don't have any powder, anything. I just use this in a setting spray. I love it. It is super creamy. My eyes are super dry um, underneath. And yeah, this, this one and the other one I'm going to mention are the only two that have been working under my eyes that look halfway decent, you guys. Um, and the other one is by Benefit. This was such a surprise. It was a random purchase. The sales gal uh, talked me into it, and I'm super glad that she did. And it's really nice. It's it's not too creamy, and it's not too dry. It is just right. And I love that the coverage that it gives me, um, it smooths. I thought it smoothed down my um, fine lines and wrinkles. So I'm super happy uh, with this product. And yeah, definitely would repurchase this one if it stays looking as well as it does right now under my eyes. You guys, I actually do have one more primer I forgot to mention, and I was just looking at my basket. It's by e.l.f., and this is the Cookies and Dreams. You guys, this one is a finicky um, primer, just like the original. You know, when I tried it the day with the e.l.f., it works beautifully. With the uh, Camo Powder Foundation, it works beautifully. With some of my other foundations, it does not work. And it was the same with the other party primer with me. Um, so, yeah, I just find like it, it's very finicky. Um, again, it doesn't work with all the products that I try using it with, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, I definitely would mix it again with that uh, camo powder foundation. So, um, other than that, and I love the smell. Oh, it is so good. I, yeah, so you know what? I'm just going to keep playing around with it. I know the foundations that it's not working with, so we'll just go from there, you guys. But I forgot to bring out that primer. Okay, let's move it into powders, you guys. There's not a lot in that category either. Um, I only purchased two. And the one I'm going to talk about first is by Rare Beauty. This is a beautiful powder. Um, the only problem is, you guys, I should have taken it back and got a lighter shade because it's a little deep on me, so I don't grab for it. Um, not the powder's fault. Uh, there's a couple things with this, actually. And um, even though that this, you know, opens and closes here, so it'd be nice for traveling. But when, you know, if you put it in your cap and go to put it back in, it's it's kind of a mess. So, you know, there's pros and cons to this kind of opening and closing of that. So, but I will say it's a beautiful powder. It's super finely milled. Um, and it's kind of like my Kosas. It's going to take away the shine, but not the glow. Some things are, you know, I, honestly, just this is a problem for me. Uh, the shade is because that's my fault. So very nice powder though. I would I purchased this again in the shade light because I got mine in light medium. The next product uh, or next powder uh, is the Kosas. I have been reaching for this nonstop. I love the packaging of it. It's a pressed powder, but it's somehow finely milled as well. The only con to this is sometimes I have a very hard time opening it. But this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's been very well loved. Um, yeah, I've been using this almost every day, you guys. And it looks nice under my eyes. This is one of those that, again, it takes away the shine but not the glow. Um, and also what I love about it is my makeup stays on fantastic using this. And I've used this with many of my foundations and I know that's why they've been lasting a little longer because of this and I'm not shy with this product I go in with it which normally I do not like using a lot of powder but this one I feel like I can and it does not look cakey love this powder I just can't say enough about it okay you guys let's move into a uh, foundation okay you guys these are all of the foundations that I used in March 
and I just want to do a recap on these um, because some of the things have changed slightly. Um, I'm just going to go in with the one I absolutely love. This is probably going to be no surprise, but it, this is the Kosas. I'm telling you, I love this foundation. It looks beautiful every time I put it on. Um, and usually some foundations, there's days that they look good, some days, they don't, you know, they don't. This one, every time I've reached for it, it looks beautiful on my skin. Uh, and that's what I have on right now. I have, you know, the Kosas uh, foundation. I have on the concealer and I do have on the powder. This is so nice. It's beautiful for mature skin. It's a clean product. So there's only uh, natural ingredients in it. Um, there is an SPF of 25 in here. And the only con that I have with this, the only con there is a slight fragrance. To me, I, it doesn't bug me. I don't have a fragrance uh, sensitivity usually. Um, it'd have to be pretty strong for me to have a problem. And the thing is, um, which I find it odd because it's all clean products. So it could just be one of the skincare, the SPF, something that's in there. I just want you know make you know you aware of it. I love the packaging. I love this little cap. It just screams spring and summer. So yeah, I love this product. Kosas, yeah, they've just been knocking it out with their uh, complexion products. Okay, so the next one I do want to talk about is this one here, this L'Oreal Age Perfect. This one shocked me, you guys. I love this product. It is absolutely beautiful on dry skin, uh, mature skin. Uh, it's very light coverage, and um, I will have to say really quick on the Kosas, this one's about a medium. This is a medium coverage, but it's buildable. Um yeah, but this one is a light coverage. You can get it to a low medium, but you guys, it just looks beautiful. I mean, it covers like any redness I would have. Um, I, I, I can't even say enough about it. It stayed on my skin beautifully. Now, every time I've used it, I do feel like I need a powder and I did use uh, mycosis. So I don't know if that's playing a part in it, you guys, but yeah, this is gorgeous. So this one I've been reaching for a lot as well. Love this um, age perfect four and one balm. Okay, so let's go into this next one, you guys. Um, this one is, I don't know, you guys. Um, it's the Makeup Forever HD. This is one of those foundations, like I was just mentioning. Sometimes it looks really great on the skin, and sometimes it doesn't. I will say, even when I first tested it, I, it seemed a little drier than I was anticipating. Um, I do know that there's uh, alcohol in here, so that would make sense. Uh, and the alcohol is to help, you know, from uh, sweating. It's supposed to be sweat proof. It's supposed to be um, transfer proof, uh, long wearing. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a nice foundation, but I like it better when I do mix a little bit of this makeup um, Revolution Glass Skin Primer in with it. This is one of those that I think I'm going to have to because, especially during the winter months. So, you know, this one is nice. It just wasn't the top one that I tested for sure. Okay, another one that did surprise me and I have used several times since and it still looks great, you guys. And it's the e.l.f. And this is that camo a powder foundation. I know that some people it works for and some people it doesn't. I just was lucky that it's working for me. Um, this, you know, these two combined, um, do, I think it does help because this is super creamy. I think the two play very well together. You know, it's in the same company. The only way I can explain it, it's, it's creamy. You know, it just goes on super creamy, um, but it's a powder. So... It's the only powder foundation that I've been able to use and enjoy. You know, I think some people do wear it over a lighter uh, coverage foundation. So I don't know, you guys. Uh, for me, it worked out. Okay, you guys, the last uh, foundation, you know this is coming. It's the One Size Turn Up the Base. Wow, what <laughs> what a ride this has been. I'm telling you, Um there's still pros and cons to this. You know, if you didn't see that video, I'll link that uh, up here. Um, but mm -hmm. the pros are that it is, once I got this product to work for me, um, it's beautiful. You know, I do have to add this to it because I have dry skin. It did not play with my dry skin. It looked absolutely horrible on my dry mature skin. But then I came back and mixed this in with it. And oh my gosh, you guys, what a difference that was. I really enjoyed it and have done it that way a couple times since, 
and still enjoy it. The con is, you guys, I think we've been gypped because there is not one fluid ounce in here. I just can't believe it. And others have said the same thing. So um, actually, somebody tried taking theirs back, they told me, and the sales associate almost didn't return it, you know, because she said, well, you've used most of the product. And she's like, no, this is how it came. And it's true. Um, so I hopefully they will fix that because I can't see myself getting, and you know, a lot more uses out of this. So that's a huge con, you guys, but it is a very beautiful product once you can get it to work with your skin. So that is my story on that. <laughs> and what else do I have in here? Okay, you guys, I want to talk about these makeup brushes here. I've been using them so much on my channel, and this is the Rose and Ben Collection. These are just very innovative, unique. Um, I do find when I use these, I think that's why I think a lot of the shadows are super pigmented because the way that these bristles are, I think it just grabs any kind of product that you put, you know, on it. And um, so that could be what's going on when I go in and there's it just super pigmented. So you got to be super light handed with these, but they are absolutely gorgeous. They work perfect with my hooded eyes, especially this brush here. If you were to look into any of her brushes and only wanted to get one because they are expensive, uh, this is like $20 a brush. But this one here is so worth it, you guys, for hooded eyes. You can just, you know, it just gets into that hood. You can make it um, be as detailed as you want. Very unique. I love this brush. And this one is, this one is E27. So again, you guys, if that, any brush that you want to get for hooded eyes or any eye, uh, that one would be it. It is absolutely amazing. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about are lipsticks, you guys. I didn't uh, purchase a lot of lipsticks uh, in March, and I don't even think I've talked about the one on this channel. Uh, but the first one I'm going to talk about is this. What a cute little discovery this was. And it was my mother's. Um, she had it in her purse and my lips were super dry. I'm like, Mom, do you have any kind of, um, you know, chapstick or something? And she goes, here, just try this. I put it on my lips. It is so beautiful, you guys. And it's just very, very creamy. And it's just going to be perfect for summer. It has a shine to it. Um, yeah, it's not super long wearing or anything like that. But it did stain, you know, a little bit. So um, it is, it is just, I just love it. And it's by Revlon. And it's called a lip stain. Um, so like I said, you know, my lips did stay a color, just didn't keep the shine. Uh, and this is in the shade Honey, I believe. And the next lip product, you guys, I have not even done a TikTok. I haven't put it in, in our videos. I just haven't had a place to put them yet. So I have been using them. I really enjoy them, but, uh, and they're new and it's by Maybelline. It's a super stay vinyl ink. These are absolutely beautiful. And listen, you have to shake it up before you use it. And I love the uh, applicator on here. It's super nice. I can overline. I don't even have to align my lips if I don't want to. Um, and I'll just show you kind of what it looks like because this is what I have on my lips now. And you'll see that there is a shine when you first apply it, but then it dries down to a matte finish. But it's not an uncomfortable matte, you guys. You know, it's not one of those that I feel like I have to throw a balm or um, a lip gloss on immediately. So I really enjoy these. So that is this color. And I did get this color as well. And you guys, you know, it, throughout the day, even after I eat, there is that uh, shade still on here. It doesn't look as vibrant as it does right now. No, but I do still have a, a color to it. And this is the other shade I got here. Isn't that beautiful? So this one here, uh, this one's called Cheeky, and this one is called Koi. So yeah, you guys, these are amazing. I found mine on Amazon because I've seen a TikTok on them, and I'm like, oh, I have to have these. So you guys know I'm not one of those that like to run from store to store trying to find one product. If I can find it on Amazon, I'm going to order it from Amazon. So yeah, I love these here. Okay, you guys, and the last thing I think I want to talk about, there is, oh no, you guys, I forgot my Rare Beauty uh, bronzer. I love this, or bronzing stick. And I got mine in the shade uh, Happy Soul. This is such a beautiful cream bronzer. Look at that. And then when you do blend it out, 
it just looks so natural and it turns into almost like a, a powdery finish, but you still have like a slight glow to it as you can see. That's all I have on today. I find that it lasts pretty well throughout the day. Love, love this. Um, there is a one slight fail, you guys, and I just used it recently and it was a disaster and it's that duo uh, line it, lash it. You guys, I don't think it was me. Um, I've tried it again and I cannot get this to work on my eyes, you know, in lashes. I tried a different lash. It just does not work. And I think it's because they tried to make it to where if it dries down, it could just be an eyeliner. If you really think about it, how does that make sense? You know, I there was still needs to be a tack to it. So, yeah, you guys, I don't know about this one. If you used it and have made it work, please let me know because um, I cannot get this to work for me to save my life. Okay, so the last product I do want to talk about, um, and it's by iMethod. I absolutely love this company. Everything I've tried from them, um, I've enjoyed, and everything I've tried from them, they have sent me. Um, so I just want to, you know, put that out there. I didn't purchase any of these products, but even though people send me things, you guys, it doesn't mean that I'm going to say mm -hmm. I love it just because they sent it to me. That's not the case at all. If I don't like it, what I do is I write the company and I tell them, look, it's not working out. I'm not going to do a video on it. Um, you know, thanks, but <laughs> I'm just not going to unless you guys don't want me, you know, unless you want me to say something bad about your product. So most of the time it works out perfectly. Um, and I'm super happy about that. So anyway, I love this, um, eyeliner and they sent me another, a wing stamp eyeliner, you know, a while back. And that one was really nice, but I do like this one way better. And I will show you, it comes with two um, liners. And what I love about their products here, um, you know, like this is just the stamp and this is the wing stamp here. If, and you know, you have not seen that. So that's what that looks like. But the nice thing is this pen here. And it comes with two different, um, sizes of the applicator here so this one is a more thin um, applicator felt tip applicator and this one is a little thicker so you just have a choice of what you want to do and I have that on today without the wing stamp you guys this is such a great eyeliner it is super long wearing um I you know it never it hardly ever comes off and I do a lot of this you guys now when I do the stamp and my eyes are super watery it's going to happen I don't care what I have on my eyes I, I think a permanent marker would come off uh, if my eyes are watering out of control but I will say it's harder for it to come off when I use these products here so love this by eye method I'm super grateful super happy they sent it to me Okay, you guys, there's one more product I want to talk about, and this one, I honestly could do a whole video on it itself, and they sent it to me um, as a gift for me to try with zero. Just, they said, try it. You don't have to do a TikTok. You don't have to do a video. We just want you to try it and tell your friends if you like it. You guys, I honestly believe <laughs> this might sound a little dramatic, but I'm not kidding. Um, I feel like it's going to change the quality of my life. And I, and yeah, I know this sounds dramatic to you guys, but if you know my backstory, I have Crohn's disease. I've suffered from it, you know, since I got diagnosed when I was 30, I had two surgeries. So I'm always dehydrated, you know, and I don't realize how dehydrated, how dehydrated I am until like I go to get my blood drawn or, um, until I started using this product, you guys, then I knew how de dehydrated I have been and it's um, called liquid IV I had heard about this you guys but I honestly thought this was a product for people who drank too much <laughs> and needed the uh, hydration the next day to get you know rid of their hangover and a lot of people do use it for that reason and it does work but my reason is it really hydrated me to a point where I just was like you've got to be kidding me that's how high dehydrated I've been my brain fog was uh, clearing away. I had a pep in my step because there is so much vitamin B in here, you guys. It's like a vitamin B IV. The thing is, it has no GMO. It's vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free. Um, it has a CTT technology, which is a cellular transport technology. And what that means is it's optimal ratio of nutrients that delivers hydration rapidly into your bloodstream hydrating you two to 2.5 times faster 
um, and more efficiently than water alone. And you guys, I, yeah, for me, I tell, I, I can tell a huge difference because of my condition. Um, I don't know, you know, if somebody who's not dehydrated uh, would notice it as much, but I certainly did. And all I do is use one of these a day. There is a con, you guys, and it might not be to everybody, but for me, it was. It was some, when I put the full packet in there, I associate like Gatorade, um, that type of drink as being ill because that's what they give me when I'm sick. So that's what that tastes like it. So my brain automatically went to, oh my gosh, you know, I'm not going to be able to drink these. Um, my brain is associating this to being sick. And what I learned to do is I take um, a half of a packet and I put it in, you know, a full thing of ice water. And so then I'm drinking two of these a day for sure, because I want to use that other packet because it makes me feel so good, you guys. Um, and I, but I have been noticing now that I've gotten used to the taste, I can start adding a little bit more. So hopefully I'll be able to put the full packet in here. I do like that it does force me to drink two of these a day at least. So anyway, you guys, this is great for someone who does have like, um, you know, irritable bowel syndrome, any kind of a digestion problems. Um, it's great for people, uh, you know, who work out performance, uh, someone who's in the uh, heat and sun a lot, traveling, just plain wellness. That's, that is true. And again, you guys, I could keep going on and on about that product, but I just want to let you guys know. And they did tell me, you know, if I did enjoy this product, that they would give me uh, a coupon code for my friends. And so I did contact them. I said, I love it. They gave me a coupon code and I'll put that in the description box below. Any kind of a coupon code will be in the description box below along with all the products here. All right, you guys, that is the end of this video. I hope it was informative. I hope um, I gave you some insight as to what has happened through the month. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of format. You know, I like being able to update you guys because sometimes, you know, things just get away and I don't talk about them. And at first impressions could be one way and it turns out to be another by, you know, you know how that goes. But I just wanted to put that out there. And, and again, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, if you please hit that like button. It really does truly help my channel and this video get pushed out. I love you guys so much. And until next time.